Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 740. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 740 to 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll down to the Excel uh, Magic Trick section. <clears throat> hey, in this video we have a data set, and look at this. We have some blanks, some errors, uh, different types of errors and blanks. And all we want to do is be able to chart this and have these blanks and errors not show up in the chart. Now in 740 I'm going to show you how to do it with a filter which is just totally easy and straightforward and then in 741 I'll show you some dynamic formulas uh, that'll do it dynamically. Alright, the first thing is if we want to add a filter, uh, let's build the chart first. Now I'm going to highlight the whole table here and go up to insert chart and columns. Now my default chart is a column, and since I want a column, I'm going to click Escape there. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1, Alt F1. It puts the default chart on this sheet, right? And uh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to delete this and the title. I'm not going to worry about making this chart uh, look real good here. All I'm going to do is notice that there are some values missing here. They're showing up and I don't want them. You can see value 6, 7, and 8 are either blanks or errors, and sure enough, they're all in the chart. Um, we're going to do filter in this uh, video here, and if we want to filter this data set, it's got to have field names at the top, records in rows, and a blank all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. We can go to the home and then over here to the A to Z sort and filter and there's a filter option. You can go to the data ribbon and the filter or you can use the keyboard shortcut control shift L. Once you uh, have your filter drop downs at the top you can simply click. Now I'm going to show you uh, two ways to do this. Now right now if I filter this data set and it starts hiding rows it'll squish the size of the chart because by default the chart is set up to move with cells. So I'm going to put this below and then filter it. Alright and when you click the filter I can see this is not going to fit on the screen. You can see right there we have a list and I'm going to uncheck all of these and just like that the data is uh, filtered and the chart works perfectly. Now what if you want the chart right next to the uh, chart? Let me control Z. Let's just see what happens. Control Z. If I do it this way, I'm going to uncheck all of those again even though it's off the screen. You can see it makes the chart really small. Well if you want the chart next to it, no problem. We have to change the properties. I'm going to control Z. Uh, I'm going to click on the chart and then control 1 and down here there are properties and now I can say don't move or size with cells and then click close and now when I filter it doesn't matter where the chart is I simply uncheck what the things I don't want and just like that boom we have our chart now that was filtering in our next video we'll see how to do a dynamic formula not only formulas in the cells but define name dynamic formulas uh, to have our chart update when we enter data into our data set. All right, see you next video.